Well, that's it. That is the final episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And uh, just to let you know, before uh, going any further, this is going to contain some spoilers. So if you don't want to know what's going on, do remember to go and watch the episode and then come back and uh, listen to what I have to say about it. Also, please do subscribe if you like my content and then uh, other people can find it and hopefully like it as well. Thank you very much. OK, so this is the sixth episode, final episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And of course, we know there's going to be another battle scene between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. This was, I think this is obvious, isn't it? Everyone expected that. And there was. And I, I wasn't sure how they were going to do this because obviously they meet up later on in the in the movies so i was wondering how they were going to have them have this massive battle but still both come out of it alive and and you know apart basically not hunting each other down so i wondered how they were going to do this but they managed to do it in a very actually not a bad way it wasn't a bad way at all they could have done a lot worse so obi-wan kenobi who's on this ship with the rest of the uh, people that are trying to get to safety he realises that the the Star Destroyer, or he, he realises that the Destroyer is going to catch up with them eventually. They're not going to be able to survive. So he decides to leave on his own in a little ship, and because he knows that Darth Vader will follow him, and he does. The the, the Destroyer turns to face um, Obi-Wan Kenobi's little ship, and then Darth Vader takes his own ship down to the planet where Obi-Wan Kenobi has gone. This is where the big battle takes place and I thought this was actually quite good I, I kind of suspected they were going to do this that they were going to build up Obi-Wan Kenobi's strength over the course of the series and then at the end he was going to be almost back to normal and he was um, it took a little bit of time to get into his stride I thought the fight scene was very good obviously they broke it up because these guys are a lot older than they were originally and they originally did these fight scenes so they broke it up into chunks but I thought actually the fight scene wasn't that bad um, there was a couple of couple of angles that were like shaky camera angles which I didn't really understand didn't quite like that at all but the rest of it was actually pretty well shot um, I think both um, Ewan McGregor and uh, and Hayden Christensen did very well I thought they you know it was great to see them in another uh, another battle to the death kind of thing and at one point Darth Vader buries Obi-Wan Kenobi in a pit of rocks and he thinks that's it I've done it I've killed him walks off Obi-Wan Kenobi at this point realizes I think that he has to survive because of Leia and Luke and he finds the, the full strength to push himself out of this rocky pit and uh, and then goes after um, Darth Vader again this time much more forceful you know he, he, he attacks um, Darth Vader a lot more damages him to the point where he cuts half of his helmet off and then you can see Hayden, Christ Christ Hayden Christensen underneath and uh, you get this kind of mixture of his voice and James or Jones's voice as he's damaged, you know, his, his voice, his voice synthesizer. So you get this kind of mixture of the two, which I thought was quite, quite nice. It was quite good to get that mixture of the two voices there. And, um, and at that point, you know, uh, you get the revelation that, uh, that it wasn't Obi-Wan Kenobi that killed Anakin Skywalker. It was Darth Vader that the dark side had killed Anakin Skywalker. And it wasn't um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He, you know, he was already dead i think before obi-wan kenobi came along and killed him or tried to kill him so that kind of absolved obi-wan kenobi of the guilt that he felt that he'd been carrying along during the series and so he he goes away and he goes to tatooine where raya is just about to try and kill luke he's she's found luke and she's chased him into this valley and he's laying there he's falling, falling off the cliff heard he said completely unconscious and Raya tries to kill him but then you see flashbacks of how um, Anakin Skywalker was looking at her when she was a, a youngling and uh, he she had flashes of that in her mind and basically didn't want to be the same as him decided not to kill him so that was quite good as well I, I wondered how they were going to do that how they were going to have um, him survive um, I did wonder whether he was going to kind of use some kind of force that he didn't realize he had to try and stop her or anything like that but then they didn't go down that route they went down the route of her you know having a stunning revelation that she's actually a good person not a bad person and uh, she has a chat with Obi-Wan Kenobi and all was good with the world which is okay it's a bit of a let, bit of a cop out but it was okay you know it was, it's, it's something and it leads the way to her having this other series which apparently is in the works or is going to be in the works her spin-off series for her and then 
Anakin Skywalker goes, uh, not Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi goes to visit Leia. Um, she's been reunited with her family and, you know, there's a bit of a soppy, soppy thing going on there, soppy scene where he talks about his, her parents. And then he goes into the caves, which is where we find him in episode four. And on the way there, he bumps into the force ghost of Qui-Gon Jinn, which I thought was quite good. We, we knew that he was probably going to make an appearance and he did. All but fleeting. He was only in, on screen for about maybe a minute, if that. Um, but it was great to see. Um, it was great to see him back. Great to see Liam Neeson reprising his role for that. Maybe he'll have a, another uh, reprisal of his role at some point in the future. We'll never know. Hopefully, we will because I thought he was quite a good character in uh, in the first episode. So that is pretty much it. That is how the sixth episode wrapped up. And I thought it wasn't bad. I thought it was a, it was better than some of the other episodes in the season. I thought that the fight scene was quite good. And, uh, and apart from a little bit of shaky camera angles, I thought the cinematog cinematography was quite good as well. A little bit of dodgy CGI here and there. But apart from that, I thought it was actually quite good. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, of course. So you let me know down, down in the comments below what you thought of the episode, whether you liked it or not, or whether you thought they could have done something else or done something differently. That would be quite nice to hear. And well, I guess we'll have to wait and see if they do decide to do a second series. There are mutings that they might, but uh, I think they actually wrapped it up quite nicely. I don't think it needs to have another series, but let me know what you think downstairs as well. So until next time, thank you for joining me and I'll see you again.